Welcome to the Easy Fit Wheel Training video. This video will show you how to disassemble and reassemble Wheel Abrader's Easy Fit Wheel. You will need a 9/16 inch impeller bolt ratchet, a large crescent wrench, a 9/16 inch wrench, a flathead screwdriver, and a Wheel Abrader wheel puller. Begin by removing the lid. If present, first remove your top liner. Then, remove the feed spout. and the feed spout O-ring. You may wish to put a crescent wrench on your blade so that you can rotate it and handle it as you undo the impeller bolt. Remove the impeller bolt. You may need to blow out the threads with compressed air. Then, remove the impeller. After removing the impeller, remove the control cage. Then remove the center plate. Because this is a demo wheel, the blades slide out easily. In a machine that experiences heavy use, they may become shot locked. If this is the case, this is designed for easy removal by popping out with a flathead screwdriver. Remove the blades through the center of the wheel opening. They are held in place by centrifugal force and the groove on each end. Then remove the control cage retaining ring. and remove the control cage target lock ring. And in regards to the control cage opening the window, we could have uh, this particular unit, it's a 49 degree control cage from here to here, 30 to here, 70 and 100. And depending on your application, you may develop the need to have a longer pattern. Well, you may want to go to a 70 degree control cage to take uh, maximum use of the effective blast pattern. Remove the bolts from the control cage adapter plate. And then, remove the plate itself. If your visual inspection shows excessive wear on the inliners or the bare wheel, you can remove the bare wheel through the front of the housing. When the bare wheel is exposed and ready for removal, it is often shot locked. Position your keyway to the top of the housing so that as you remove the bare wheel, the keyway does not drop into the machine. Use the wheel puller to press against the motor shaft and back the wheel straight out of the housing. If you clean the shaft and the internal shaft bore, the bare wheel should back out with little or no effort and a wheel puller may not be needed. The inliners, uh, with a cast housing, you're going to have a five-piece liner set. You're going to have four inliners, all the same part number, and one top liner. Willabrader added this straight section here so you can reach in and grab out and pull out the top liner without pinching your fingers. If you're identifying excessive wear, you could take it, flip it up top, and keep running. We are now going to reassemble the Easy Fit wheel. Begin by making sure that the key is aligned at 12 o'clock and insert the bare wheel. Then we insert the control cage adapter plate. 
align the screw holes, and tighten down the bolts. Next, we add the control cage target lock ring. This is followed by the control cage retaining ring. Now we are ready to reassemble and restore the tune-up kit. First, we insert the blades. This is followed by the center plate. Next, we install the control cage. Align the notches with the target lock ring and ratchet down into place. Now we will see how to set the control cage target lock. Uh, this particular unit is a 49 degree control cage and adjusting this pattern from outside the wheel, you could literally grab the cup, rotate it, or put your screwdriver in here with a hammer and tap it into position. A quarter of an inch will greatly change the direction of the blast pattern. So um, it's, it's wise to do hot spot test and uh, make sure that you're actually hitting the work with the blast pattern. So that's how you adjust the control cage. Once that's set, you can lock these down, leave it in the same place. From then on, the tune-up kit goes back in uh, consistently. Then we insert the impeller. We make sure that it is aligned and it is concentric. And follow with the impeller bolt. Then we follow up with the feed spout O-ring and the feed spout, ensuring that everything is tight and properly aligned. Replace the lid to complete your assembly. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the Wheelabrator Easy Fit Wheel.